Now, I already introduced you to the Start menu in a previous training video, and that's by coming over here and clicking on the Start button. And as you recall, the left side is a list of my top 10 frequently used programs, and then the right side are my more commonly used programs, or what most users would use, like the Control Panel to be able to change the settings of my computer. And I want to show you how to customize both sides. First of all, the frequently used programs. If I have a program that I use but not frequent enough to be displayed here in the top 10, but I want it here in the menu, I can pin it to the menu. So whether I use it often enough or not, it'll always be there. So first of all, I need to find that program. Well, here's a list of my top 10. If it's not here, I can come down here and click on All Programs and scroll up or down until I find it. For example, let me go ahead and click on Accessories to expand that folder. And let's say it's going to be the calculator. Go ahead and right-click on it. And in its menu, you get the option to pin it to the Start menu. Go ahead and click on Pin, and then let's come down here and click to go back, and you can see right at the top of the menu, separated by a thin blue line from all the rest down below, is my calculator. Anything above the blue line is pinned to the Start menu. Anything below are my most frequently used programs. How can you tell? Besides the blue line, well, if you right-click on it, it goes from Pin to Unpin from Start menu. So if I go ahead and left-click on Unpin, it drops it back down in my top 10 frequently used programs. If I didn't use it frequently enough, then it would drop off altogether. A shortcut to be able to pin one of these programs to your start menu is just click and drag, either up or down. Notice how I get that little pop-up there that says pin to start menu. Whenever I move a program or I try to click and drag it, and I get that little pop-up, go ahead and let go, and it automatically pins it to the start menu. There's my thin blue line separator between the pinned and the unpins. And then finally, if I want to be able to shrink the icons on the Start menu here so I can squeeze more in, or I want to fit more instead of the top 10, maybe the top 12 or 13 or 14, or reduce it down to 5. And also, you can see over here I've got Games, Computer. If I don't want them showing up over here on the right side of the Start menu, to make all those changes, just come down here and find a blank area somewhere on your taskbar. Go ahead and give it a right click, and then come up and left click on Properties. Come up here and click on the Start Menu tab, and then go over and click on Customize. And then here in the window, it says up at the top, you can customize how the links icons appear in the menu. So there's the computer. Do I want to display that as a link as it currently is now, or do I not want to display that? Oh, remember the games? Let's go ahead and scroll down and find the games. There's the games. Right now it's currently in the Start menu on the right side. What if I don't want to display it? Go ahead and select it. So go ahead and pick and choose what you want to display and what you don't want, and then down at the bottom, when you scroll all the way down, notice the default, use large icons. I can go ahead and uncheck that, so the left side of the Start menu will have smaller icons. And then finally down below, notice the number of recent programs to display by default is 10. I can increase that to 20 or go down to, let's say, 5. And then when I want to see the effects of all this, go ahead and first apply it by clicking OK, and then clicking OK again and then coming back and clicking on your Start menu, and there you go. Do you see games over here? I don't. And then look up at the top here. I just have the top five recently used programs, and those icons are smaller. Of course, if you don't like that and you like the large icons, you can go back and change it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.